The monsoonal circulation is both an atmospheric and an oceanic circulation, and though it's more uh, meaningful in terms of oceanography in the Indian Ocean, it actually has the, a counterpart here in the southwestern United States, the Arizona or Southwest Monsoon. And though it doesn't change current directions, it's an interesting atmosphere-ocean phenomenon and interaction that's worth taking a quick look at here. Heating of land masses in the summer, both in India as well as in uh, Arizona and the southwest, causes differences in air pressure between the land and the ocean. So that heating of the land is causing air to rise, and so when we have that heating of the land masses in summer, you're going to have air flowing towards the land. All right, so from the ocean towards the land, because in the, when the land masses heat, and we'll see this in just a few minutes, that air is rising and air is coming in off of the ocean to take its place. That's a seasonal process and it happens both in, this, in India as well as the American Southwest as well. That word monsoon means season and so you have seasonal changes in winds, seasonal changes in precipitation, seasonal changes in currents in the Indian Ocean. And so the monsoonal circulation really being a type of seasonal circulation pattern, both again in the, in the American Southwest as well as in the Indian Ocean. In wintertime, on the other hand, that high pressure again reforms and sets over the Asian continent so that in the winter circulation, we're actually causing winds to blow from the land to the sea, a pattern for the winter monsoon, the opposite one being the summer monsoon. And those offshore winds, again from India, create a different kind of surface circulation pattern as well. Here in the southwest, in, uh, in, the, in the summertime in the southwest, because of heating, it's drawing moisture in towards California and towards Arizona. So Arizona actually experiences a, a rainy season, lots of thunderstorms in the summertime as a result of this monsoonal circulation. Here in Southern California, we occasionally have those thunderstorms come over the mountains and affect our weather here. We sometimes get intense lightning storms and intense uh, rainfall on occasion in the summer in Southern California as a result of this monsoonal circulation. So you've actually, if you live in Southern California, have had some experience with this monsoonal circulation. And if you live in India or anywhere near India, well, then you've had the monsoonal circulation and really experienced it firsthand. So the summer and winter uh, monsoons. Here's an image of it from the book, figure 918. And here we see the wintertime situation, high pressure over the continent of India. We have winds, of course, going from high pressure to low pressure and winds blowing offshore in this case. And that sets up a circulation pattern that's really a little bit more sort of normal. We have the North Equatorial Current. We have the Somali Current actually um, here in which the Somalia Current is actually running from north to south. So we have currents as a result of winds blowing offshore mostly moving in this direction for reasons that we'll talk about in a little bit and we have currents also running in that sort of east to western direction as a result of wind blowing off the continent of India. It's the opposite in the summertime heating of the land masses is drawing air in drawing winds onshore and creating a reversal in the Somali current and a reversal in what would normally be called the North Equatorial Current. In fact, this reversal causes this to change its name. We now call it the Southwest Monsoon Current and a reversal in the current. So if you look at this figure 918 and look at the difference between the wintertime situation currents running from east to west, and summertime situation from west to east, you get some idea of the profound influence of this phenomenon over the North Indian Ocean, the monsoonal circulation. Of course, in the summertime, when we have this situation, this is when they get torrential rains. Word has it, word on the streets has it, that they get three months of solid rain in India. It's really a horrible time. Uh, in some sense, in that you get extreme weather 
um, that often leads to landslides and those kinds of things. It's a very beneficial time though because this is really what recharges the aquifers for rice cultivation and those kinds of things. So it's a very important part of life in this part of the world.